This is Introduction to Automotive Electronics. First question we want to ask is, why do we need electricity in a vehicle, in an automobile? And so if we're going to list off as many uses of electricity in an automobile, automobile, it would be a lot. Uh, lights, horn, your dash lights, your um, dash gauges, your everything. You've got lights all over the place. You need spark, so we need to create lots of electricity to get spark for our four-stroke engine. It's endless. So let's have a look at uh, what we can find. The first thing we want to look at is the simplest thing. And when we look at the sim one of the simple things, we can understand the complicated things. And one of the simple things is lighting systems. So we're going to look at that first. In order to understand how lights work, what do we need to know in order for us to understand how they work? Well, there's always these electricity variables. We have three of them. We have voltage, we have current, and we have resistance. The three of those are critical to understanding exactly how lights light up and how we can do work with lights. The first one we'll look at is voltage. There's a word that you need to remember when we talk about voltage, and that vo word is pressure. Voltage is pressure. That needs to resonate in your head lots and lots and lots. Voltage is electrical pressure and that comes from some kind of an electrical pump or an electrical storage device. Could be a battery or it could be an alternator or something like that. Um, we measure voltage, voltage in volts and we measure it with a voltmeter. The next one we're going to look at is current. Current can be equated with the word flow. Electricity flows. We have voltage, which pressure pushes the flow, which is current. Current is flow. We measure current in amps, and we use an ammeter to do it, or sometimes it's called an amp probe. The last one we have is resistance. Resistance, the definition of that is the opposition to flow. So you have flow, you have pressure, and resistance is the opposition to flow, and that's where we get electrical work happening. We measure resistance in ohms with an ohmmeter. And those are our electricity variables. If we want to look at this in a picture that helps explain it, here's a good one. Over here we have the pressure. This is our voltage. That voltage is putting pressure all the time in the wire that's in the green going in this direction. Current is the flow, so we have pressure over here pushing, and current is when current or electricity or electrons flow in a certain direction. And then this little hand here is resistance, and that is pushing back over the, the opposition to flow.